familia Marchenko. I'm Janis Kula. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening, listening to the Games to Love podcast. podcast. Hello again, here I am, it's the women's draw this time, and they've pretty much gone through all of the non-seeded players, now I'm going to take you through all of the actual seeds, obviously Iga Sviantek, she is going to be at the top of the draw, great to have everybody in, i got hello to Dominique there, how are you doing mate? Good to have you in. Right, I'm just going to start sharing this and then we can get going. I'm going to try and do it in a similar fashion. We've got Lexi in again. How are you doing, Lexi? Uh, Andrew as well. Uh, right, let's try and go through this. Hey. Right, let's see what we can do. Right, Sarkari's been popped in there. So you can, so you can see what's going on a little bit. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see it, but there you go. I'll whack that in there for you. We've got Pliskova is filling up number 32, in case anyone was wondering. So Pliskova, as you can see here, at the bottom of this little section. Right. Uh, no, this is the next section. We've got Badoza and Sabalenka are in the same little section there, as you can see. Ons Jabur is in the same section as Maria Sarkari as well. Kontavi with Barbola Klaichikova as well. It's interesting. Right, as you can see. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's Ned Cantavi. Oh, Eager's not going to be happy with this. Jessica Pagula has been drawn in the same section. So we got Pliskova and Pagula. I don't think Pagula's a particularly good one. We just had... Danielle Collins just been drawn. And, oh, here comes a big name, Emma Raducanu. Here she comes. So we've got, here we've got Danielle Collins going in the section with Badoza and Sabalenka. Then we've got Raducanu playing a qualifier first round. We've got Garbinia Muguruza. She is going to be in Annette Kontavi and Barbara Klaichikova's. Oh, no, the Klaichikova versus Mugalutsa again. Ostapenko just been drawn in Iga's side as well. That's not too good for Iga. I'm sure she would prefer to avoid someone like that in her side of the draw. Oh, David saying Kanepi versus Mugalutsa. That's a banana skin for her. Yes, indeed. we got Azarenka has just been popped just next to Mugalutsa in the draw as well. Here we go. Yeah, we know Kai Kanepi. Everybody goes to check to see who has Kanepi, one of the worst non-seeded players to play in any Grand Slam, that's for sure. Right, who's coming out of the hat next? It's going to be, oh my word, Eager is not being done any favours here. Simona Halep is going to be potentially an early matchup here for Eager. Look at this. Uh, she is going to be playing Anna Cunha, not an easy one there. We've got Madison Keys been dropped into the draw, playing Callan Skyer in the first round. Daria Kasatkina will play Rebecca Peterson. Angelique Kerber being dropped into the draw as well to play Magdalena Freck. Leila Fernandez as well. She's being dropped in. She's playing Madlenovic in the first round. Coco Goff, she will play a qualifier in the first round. And we got Jill Teichman against Bernarda Pera. So just to share another part of the draw, just so you can see what's going on. There you go. There's Coco Goff. That's who she's got in her section. See who else we've got coming out the hat. And who's coming next? No, no, no. Oh. But hey, how we doing? I part of the draw. Uh, what's that? <laughs> He's asking who's come up the draw. Here I am. I'm out. JG is playing Greet Minnan in the first <laughs> round. Yeah, no apologies, Ben, for the delay. I know I said I was going to be a bit earlier than that. Um, it's all sort of stacked up on me. My tennis match, it went on longer. A uh, bit of a mammoth, ma ma mammoth match. We'll talk about that later on. 
Uh, but yeah. here I saw that, mate. Let's talk about the men's one briefly. I am Ooh. in. I'm very upset. I'm really annoyed. You got Nadal, Djokovic, Zverev, Alcaraz in the oh! same half. Osaka and Nisimova, first round. I mean, all this refreshing just does my head in. What you're I know, doing. mate, but I just got to keep everyone up to date with as it's coming out. Let's have a look at some of these. So Heather Watson there versus Jackamont. Probably goes out. Heather Watson. Harriet Dart, another Brit against Trevis San. That's a tough oh, match. Just, yeah, it's um, tough. Ons Jabur at the top there. Ons Jabur Lynette. I mean, this section seems okay. If I'm honest, you've got Radu Kanu in there against a qualifier. We don't know who she's going to be playing. Yep. Uh, she <laughs> wasn't too long ago when she was the qualifier. Now she's playing <laughs> qualifiers. Most definitely. Exciting. Uh, let's see if the, who else we got in there. we got Badoza. Uh, her section is with Sabalenka. So, as you can see there. Quite what did you make one. of the men's stuff? It's ridiculous, uh, isn't it? I'm not, yeah, I it's mean, unbalanced. It's, a, it's an unbalanced draw. Well, it's sometimes connected. We got the Russians, Medvedev, probably liking that draw. Are they? So you got Medvedev? What Medvedev sits past Rublev on the other side? Yeah, Sinner as well. Oh come on! It's, it's not. No, it's not right. Maybe it's, it's the time. Maybe it's, it's the time. Unbalanced, man. You need to split Nadal. Uh, Djokovic, Sissipas, Alcaraz in two. So you have two on that side, two on each. You can't have three on one. Well, for me, that ruins just, the that was, always the, that was always Sissipas the fear. Sissipas has to be looking at this and thinking, if he don't get to the final... He's playing Lorenzo he's not... Musetti first round. Well, he's, he's got... Sissipas has got to shape up. He's got he's got yeah. opportunity here. Can, he's, been handed, be he's, he's been handed, handed the best draw. And then out of the four, he's the worst of the four. Alcaraz could be playing Corda, potentially, again. Like, early. I mean, it's ridiculous. Terrible draw. So, and uh, that that was the one thing we always feared. Like, Rafa in the same quarter as Djokovic. And that was always a possibility in coming into the draw. We, we just sort of knew it was going to happen. Like, everyone was talking about it. And everyone was saying, oh, I hope not Alcaraz, Djokovic and uh, Rafa aren't all on the same side. But that's what was ultimately, I feel like it was set in, the, set in stone, wasn't it? It was the stars aligned. Yeah, it's annoying. I'm hearing people saying Eager's got a tough draw, so let's yeah, wait mate, and look see. At this. Here she is. So this is Eager's quarter. First ever look. We've got Simona Halep in there. We've yep. got Samsonova, someone yep. she doesn't like to play. Of all the seeds, she didn't want Samsonova. We've got Zidansek, semi-finalist here last year. Alex and Drova, pretty good on the clay. Ostapenko, that girl who beat her last. I mean, Pagula doesn't, doesn't get much worse. I don't think it gets any harder for Iga, really. These no. are players she doesn't really like. And right at the it's bottom, the who's at the bottom? Uh, Pliskova. <laughs> well, Your favourite. I mean, oh, I might not take show, the banner off. Apologies. I can't quite see. Oh, apologies, I didn't realise you couldn't see that. Uh, Pliskova. Pliskova. Yeah. Not, not the worst, then. No. <laughs> I think like, that's the only one. For me, I'm looking like. at Halep and Samsonova. And Ostapenko, of course, three big C's at the top. And it, they all worry me, all of them. Yeah, I mean, it's real tough. It's, a, it's not an easy draw at all. Let me just squeeze it a bit so you can see it all. Yeah, there we go. So but that's it's the a bit mad. section. Have we had a look at the Sabalenka section yet? Yeah, that was the one with Bedoza, this one. Okay, so Sabalenka with Bedoza. Ribikina's in there. We've got Daniel Collins, Kasadkina, Camilla Georgi. Um... I mean, it's not bad. It's not the worst. Good metaver. I think looking at this, if you are Paula Badoza, uh, you're thinking like you can it. win it. You, you're not too. You're not too disappointed. Yeah, if I'm honest. Paula Badoza got a nice draw. I think it's not too bad at all. Yeah. Uh, we've had Eager. We've had Eager's Badoza. Tougher. Yeah, they're much tougher. This one, the Jabur section, we sort of just spoke about with through it. This is a, this an interesting one. We've got yeah. Leila Fernandez, Radu Kanu in there. We know the amazing US Open finalists yep. we, we we got to see between them two. Naomi Osaka sneaking in against uh, Anissa Mova first round. Pretty mad. It's mad, that. And you're going to have to go down. Oh, sorry. Sarkari. So, yeah. you know, I didn't see that. I didn't know Sarkari was there as well. We've got, so, so we've got Sarkari, Jabur, <laughs> Vitova Kerba, Radu Kani. Yeah, this is quite a tough one as well, actually. I mean, you would think on paper we're going to be looking at Asakari on Jabur. But then I'm not sure if we're going to see that matchup. It just seems too obvious. It does, doesn't it? But, but you got because Bandrius, them two always, you they're always in the same section. They never really face each other too much until sort of the last event we saw. in. The name um, no one's talking about. What was that? Where's the last event? Madrid? No, Rome. Rome, yeah. What? 
look, you've got Benchich in there. She's sometimes a threat. Oh, Andreescu's there yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean. this is a tough section. So that one, she could become out of the whole pack, maybe. She might be the one who suddenly turns up. It's yeah, I mean, Heather bit... Watson's doomed in this section. <laughs> Poor old Heather. Couldn't have got much to us. Even That's... Daria Saville there. I wouldn't mm. like to play it for face her. Televisan on the clay. Yeah, this is this is for me the, the best section on paper. Yeah, it's not bad, is there it? There seems to be weapons from all angles here. And this one, I've got a couple of gaps because I think they just went through it a bit too quick. So okay. apologies for that. No. If worries. anyone could fill us in, they had to earlier on the men's. I was missing uh Van der Zansler. Wow, so Krajikova returns. That's the big news. Muguruza there against Kai Kanepi. I mean, she's probably not going to be too happy. I think she'll be heading back to Zimbabwe taking photos. I can't see Muguruza doing anything. She's just gone out of an, of, a, of that event we covered, uh, that WTA in the first or second oh, really? round. It was terrible, really yeah. bad against someone she shouldn't be losing to. And Muguruza is coming into this in absolutely zero form. And I don't believe in her at all. I mean, I don't think she even gets through the Grand Slam killer in uh, Kai Kanepi. Could could she uh, be the one like I was saying? Like maybe there's a shock, uh, like a shock win, like suddenly comes out of nowhere. Like you were well, saying, it's either, gonna be, it's either going to be an eager or a shock. Here you go. So I've got Jose Morgado's. Just I don't think so, man. I really so. don't think so. So we've got just Azarenka. Azarenka's one of the missing ones, was it? Uh, possibly. At least Mertens, Contevi. Listen, I'm going to put it out there. This is weak. This is a weak section. Not the um, best, is it? I'm looking at this, and none of these are really in form. Coco Conte- Goff? Contevit was great back end of last year, but not really someone I'm expecting to do great on the clay courts. And a, listen, I don't see any names here what stand out to me who can take this. I'm probably going to surprise you. I'm going to say uh, Gil Teichman. I think Gil Teichman's actually been playing very well, good lefty, yeah. and has looked quite promising recently. Apart from that, this is the who's who. This is where we're going to see a quarter finalist we weren't expecting. Um, could be anyone. Um, is Coco Goff there, did you say? Yep, Coco Goff's 105. I don't see her. Underneath Merton. Oh, there she is, Coco. Yeah, why not? Why not? She could She could be the one who comes out of this. Yeah, it's not bad draw for Coco. She's been playing quite well recently. Uh, she'll like this draw, I think. And quite chico, we haven't really heard of much of her of late. So who knows what, what uh, level she's going to be playing at. Yeah. So I'm quite excited for Coco uh, for this draw, that's for sure. All right, let's, All right, let's get back. up some tweets. So I've got some yeah. I'm going to just share with you now. Uh, sure. We've got one, which Think is first it. round clashes, which we can't we can't miss out on. We've probably spoken sure. about most of them. We've got Anisimova Osaka. Yep. That's huge. Yep. Uh, Muguruza Kanepi, we've spoke about. Ribikina Roos. Nice. That's quite an interesting one. Yeah, Halep Cunha and Fernandez Mladenovic. I think... I think I'm not so keen on from Ladlenovic recently. She's not been able to serve. No. So I don't doesn't feel me with much confidence. But that's the one they've put out there, Roland Garros. Interesting. Um, the pick of the bunch got to beat Anisimova Osaka. Would listen, is it is Anisimova? Would is she the bookie's favourite to win that one? Uh I would think so, yeah. Surely. You actually you think so? Yeah, I would think so. I would put her as favourite. Yeah, then I've just sent you the projected women's quarter finals as well. Nice. Okay, so let's so. have a look at that. I know we did it for the men as well. Um, and with regards to that, we've got Iga Pliskova at the top, Badoza, Sabalenka, yeah. Jabur, Sarkari, which we spoke about, Kontavik, Krajcikov. And I think the fourth quarter is the one which is up in the air. I wouldn't be surprised um, if we see Badoza, Saba. Wouldn't be yeah. surprised if we see Jabur, Sarkari. Don't think we're going to see Pliskova there. And I'm pretty confident we're not going to see them two at the bottom there. I mean, no. Krajikova, we don't know how she's playing this year because she's not played for so long. I don't know where she's been. Um, but have a, I mean, that bottom quarter, if you are in there, this is a chance to make a name for yourself and make a lot of money as well because you can really fly through this draw if you are in that section. Because you, uh, the best thing about it is you avoid eager as well until the final. Mm. So well, all you'd have, amazing. I say all you'd have to play because, I mean, Jabur Sakari that's a pretty decent, probably the best section in terms of overall quality. So it could be any name yeah. come from there. Could be looking at a Radu Kanu maybe, if we're lucky. Um, but maybe that bottom section, 
they're going to be thrilled. They avoid eager to the final and anyone's, it's the who's who's. Really. I think everyone's going to be thrilled of Eager's draw. If you're a female player on the opposite side and you see who Eager has in her section, she could be maybe pushed to three in some matches. Like yeah. in some, so if she has to play a few three setters, might get a little bit tired, might start to doubt herself a bit. That's, I think, the only hope that the women have on tour right now is that Eager starts actually feeling tired and doubting herself a bit. Because if she doesn't, everyone's in for straight sets whippings. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, I think the big news coming out of this, though, I'm seeing the reaction on Twitter, which is reinforcing what we're saying as well, is if mm. you are just joining us, Eager has got an extremely tough draw. And yeah. I'm a bit surprised because the number one seed you'd expect would get a better draw than what she's been given. You look at the men as well. And I mean, Djokovic's one's not too easy either no. with her having the Dow there. Um, and I'm not quite sure how this has worked out that you've not been rewarded, it seems, this year at Roland Garros. You can set across the men's and the women's. If you're the number one seed, You've been punished more than anything. <laughs> I say that's why I said I think Zverev has been uh, rewarded for whatever he's been doing this year on tour, and he seems to have a. Well, Zverev easy... keeps coming out saying I'm going to be world number one. I mean, he's probably fortunate he's not. <laughs> he's already thrilled he's not world number one because he's had another good draw yet again. I know it's a bit mad, isn't it? Kratikova's uh, that... not played, and she's had a pretty decent draw. I mean, if Kratikova is playing at the level we know. She mm. should prop. She should blitz it. I mean, I can't see her not getting to the semi-finals. Yeah, she should. But we know. Is she back or is she? We don't, don't know. know. It's an unknown That's... entity completely. I mean, we could say the same about Dominic Team, but it's not that unknown at this point. He's just not very good. Uh, he's come summer. back. Yeah, I saw. Her. I was. I was listening to you in the car. Oh, okay, Delian. Yeah, Delian. Not was good. Yeah. Hugo, wasn't it? What? Oh, Hugo Delian. Yeah, probably yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that. That's a tough one. Clay court specialist. I know. Not the ideal. I think he's a beatable, but just not the team right now, though. That's the yeah. thing. Edgar makes a good point. Krachikova is number two. You I know. You do forget that. Like, I can't quite believe that she is, but she's... Yeah, but um, after this roll on Garros, she might not be. Well, she might be pushed outside the top ten if she's unable to do anything, but mm. let's just wait and see with that. Um, I feel we've sort of gone through all of this draw. Yeah, yeah, I've got the the individual quarters, but I think we've already gone through them, haven't we? I think so. Yeah, but you can if you've got anybody else's routes that are quite interesting, feel free to ping them across. Yeah, I mean we've got the overall quarters. Should, should we just go one more time through quarter by quarter, and we'll give a dark horse for each one? Um, yeah, I, I often like doing that. I know we do it quite a lot, so we can give like sort of our main pick on each section and a sort dark of... course on each quarter. A bit like the draw, but just. Um, early stages of course this can change and mm. i want to announce as well guys we will be doing the official draw preview video going through round by round doing all of our picks uh very soon most likely tomorrow evening or saturday um we're not sure exactly when but when we have some time we will be doing that draw for you guys yes and indeed. of course there'll be some cool prizes as well all right let me so here we back. go let's go one by one by section should we do it yeah, let's do it section by section. I mean, you might okay. need to just open it as an image and a new tab. Okay. So I don't know. That's a bit long. Is it? <laughs> well, it's not too bad. I mean, are you doing it? Because I can't see anything. I can zoom and then you can. we can go down if you want. That's probably a bit better. Okay. So this section, I think we're both going to cut straight to the chase. We're pro both going to have eager. I'm, I can speak for you as the main dog no, getting out yeah. of here. Uh, but let's for just sure. go dark course. So who okay. can you see as a name coming out of here, which you're not going to be expecting? I mean, let me just have a good little look. My name's sort of drawn to two at the moment. Let me see if I can narrow it down. Um, and the two is going to be uh, Kalanina. Correct. As my my one. Samsonova, yep. of course, is the obvious thing, but I think it's a seed. So I'm going to go. I'll just go Kalanina. Harmy thinks Cornet. Mm. I think Cornet. <laughs> She's done her <laughs> best. Listen, no, no, I don't, no, no. I, just hear me out, Ben. She's had her best ever result in Australian Open this year. Yeah, she's now back in France. This Maybe. could be the Cornet territory to do something special. And you, you're laughing at me, but basically, we how many times have we seen these draws yield ridiculous results where you don't know who's going to be reaching a quarterfinal and semifinal? Let's be honest, the only consistent variable in tennis right now is Igor Savante. Apart from that, there's not much consistency. 
So I don't think it is a crazy take to suggest that we could be looking at someone like a Cornet getting, <laughs> maybe not beating Eager, but like getting close. But I like Eager or Kalanina. For, no, I like a Cornet or Kalanina. You're just going Kalanina. I, go, right? I would say either that, Kalanina and between Sharif and Kostyuk, because I quite like that matchup. Okay. Um, I'd actually probably be shying towards Sharif in that okay. matchup as well. I think she's won a tournament in the last week or two. Uh, so she might be coming in in some good form. So maybe yeah, keep an she's eye been out. playing yeah. well. Right, let's yeah. look at the next one. I think this is a tough one because Ego is the obvious favourite. Uh, it's hard to really look past her. This is the Paola Badoza section. Yeah. Is your favourite Paola Badoza to come out of here? Yeah. You're going to have to scroll down so I can have a look. Um, but I'm pretty sure I would agree with you as well. Yeah, I, li I like her chances. I seriously like her chances in this section. And she, of course, is going to be my main pick as well. If I had to pick someone to watch out for, out of the unseeds, I mean, they're not, they don't fill me with that much confidence, no. a lot of these names. There's not a name I'm looking at where I'm thinking, that's the one. You have to Golden, go up. It's not, no, definitely no one in this section. Putin Saver, maybe. About the, not for me. The, not as bad. Or maybe Golubic. That's about the only two that I can see. Yuvan, you like a bit of Yuvan? I do like Kaya Yuvan. I think I'd have to go Kaya Yuvan as, as an... She's going to have to really up her game. I mean, she's not mm. at the level. <laughs> but if she did something remarkable, it could be either Kaya Yuvan or Goliabic for me. Them, they're the two names yeah, yeah. I'm drawn to. Okay, dokie. Here we go. Ons Jabur. No, uh, this, this is the best one to do it on because you. We can, I'm sure we'll have a different name here. Yeah. Because there's a lot of different variables you can come up with. Uh, in terms of the favourite, uh, I'm probably going to play it boring again and become a boring bear and go this number the top seed in each section and go Ons Jabur. I Come think on. Ons Jabur is the main one. Um, and then after that, as Saka. someone to look out for and watch, not Naomi really? Osaka, it's pretty obvious for me again. It's uh, Andreescu. The first name yeah, I'm drawn I mean... to. <laughs> I would have listened. I think she can actually come out of this whole section. I watched her against Eager the other day. And she looked like she could play on the clay courts and was yeah. very, very, very good. And as much as I'm bigging up on Jabur, I think Andreescu is going to be my real dark horse and player to watch. She's got a nice route against the qualifier first round. Granted, the qualifier can always be a tough opposition because they've played a few matches in the conditions prior. Uh, but I like my chances of Andreescu in this. Yeah, I completely agree. So it's a it's a little sneaky one that's just sort of in the middle there. Uh, no one's really. It was. I didn't. I didn't notice it when you first brought it up either. Yeah, that's it. I think that that's uh, fair. I think it's either a Sarkri you're, or... you're not taking Bi Bianca then. Well, it'd have to be if it's not her, then it'd have to probably be someone like Mukova then, because she's like snuck in there as well. That's another name we haven't really discussed. Are you just skimming past the Saka like she's not there, Ben? Is that yeah, right? I don't. I don't think she'll beat Anisimova. Brutal. Yeah, uh, sadly, I mean, there's not really been much even spoken about her. Not Carney. We know you're a big Emma fan. Is she going to be injured in this one? Well, if she isn't, if she manages to get all the way to face someone like a Jabur or a Sarkari, it's probably going to be too much on the clay. I don't know. If Ooh, she imagine fancy if she, her. She's a Grand, imagine... Slam, she's Grand Slam champion, Ben Raducanu. Yeah, so you, you, the... yeah, but you always told me this, and I'm going to pull that? you up on it. You've always said with Raducanu, she's someone on the big occasion, she steps up and doesn't feel the nerves. And you keep always reciting to me when watching these matches, that her Grand Slam record. In Grand Slams, she performs extremely well. I remember in Australia, you said she lost because of the blisters um, <laughs> and she couldn't handle the blisters. Apart from that, she's so, and you kept reciting the same stat. She's never lost in a Grand Slam when she's not been injured. There you go. See? So, so there we go. That. So if she, I'm asking you the question, so if, if she she's injury free, injured. she's injury free, is she winning the whole thing, Ben? So I'm going to have to say yes. She's definitely winning it. So that's good. Right, I'm glad you brought that back. She is No, I need to undefeated. bring it up. So you, you, you're making that official right now, Ben, on the podcast. No, like, no, we can't make injury official. Injury-free, Radu Khan, who wins the whole thing. No, we've never seen a play at Roland Garros before. So it's oh, going to have to wait and oh, see. Oh, another, another thing out there. Another rule. I just think you've forgotten about uh, how long she's been on tour. I know you keep forgetting, but I'll keep reminding you. She's yet to be on tour a year. Yeah, so uh, it's coming up. So we'll have an anniversary party so you can remember how long she was on tour. So We've got Behumets and Emma has a good opportunity to make the fourth round. 
Does she? Yeah, mm. probably. Probably. I think it's is Andrescu not there? Is that the other side? I think that's the other side. I think she gets away with it and misses. She sneaks it. Yeah. I, I yeah, think maybe does. you are speaking. Jabur. Listen, you got no. It's not Jabu. I mean, no. there's there's one right below which I think is more on Benchich. Is that on the same side? I think that Benchich is on the other side. Oh, okay. Benchich is on the other side. Yeah, I think right. Benchich is on the Sarkari and then Radu Kanu is on the Ons Jabur oh, okay. side. Okay. So that'd be like Sasha. Maybe Kvitova or something. Maybe yeah, Heather Watson. Not, the first few rounds aren't too bad for her, definitely. And I'll be I'll be very disappointed if she doesn't make second or third. If she loses first, I think she can make third round. Let's see I'll who be the disappointed if she can't. First. Yeah. I, I, there's some good qualifiers. So I'd... Well, Ben Taleb saying Benchich is going to be very tough to beat in this section. She's always a bit tough, but it just depends which Benchich. If it's the good Benchich, then yeah, she could probably make it through to the semis or something. Yep. If it's the the other one, probably out first round to the qualifier. Next. Right. Uh, right. Ooh, this is the bad section. Well, this <laughs> is the who's who. Picks. And in terms well, of my favourite, it's not actually going to be the top seed here. I'm going no. to be going for Coco, Coco Golf. Golf. Yes, correct. Well, Oh, you're just taking that as well? Well, yeah, that's what I was going to say anyway. So it's, it's, it's not really uh, rubbing off on you, aren't I, these days? It's not, it's not really a hard one to pick, your favourite from this one. I thought you said Jill Teichman was your favourite earlier to go far. They changed Wait. it all of a sudden. If you, if, you, if you let me speak, she's going to be in my dark course from this section, well, if you allow me. Well, am I not allowed? I mean, no. it's a dark course. So Jill Teichman winning the, <laughs> winning the Roland Garros <laughs> isn't a big pick. <laughs> to get through the section, otherwise. To was. get through this section is not a big pick. Nah, oh, come on, Ben. Come on. Give me a break. Okay, if you don't want to give me that, I'll have a Sorio Serrano. Thank you. Oh, you love a bit Thank of you a... I thought you were going to say Sir Steyer. Is she in there? She, you no. love a bit. There she is. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's a seed. Uh, Sorio Serrano is a good one. She could make it through. Krajcikova could be playing badly. She could beat her. Yep. She could actually one. clear that whole section. I don't see Azarenka going it's far. Anne Lee. <laughs> Am I going to have her again? Maybe. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you put her far. What about Elise Mertens? No one's talking about Ruse or Ruza. Well, she's got to play Beta Mertens first. How, who do you fancy out of that matchup? I know you like a bit of Elise. I don't. That's the thing. <laughs> I feel like every time I write her off, she always beats me. Every time she plays bad and then I. I back the opponent in the next match and then she goes on a winning run then. She's one of those annoying ones. Don't put her on your bets. She's just going to ruin them or yeah. at least take you through the ringer. Yeah, I mean, Bowers Kova may be like somebody to a little bit to watch out for there, I think, in that top section. That's yeah, I'm I'd just say. trying to have a look here if, if there's any graphics of the eager draw and eager route, but ultimately it's just awful. It really is. It's not um, good at all. Is it's it? not been a good draw for me. I mean, I've been looking forward to this. Me and John Silk have been chatting a lot off air about it. And we needed a good draw for Rafa. And he's not got one. Eager's not got a nice one either. And looking at this, it's favouring people like a... I think you affected the draw, mate. Like you didn't bring any Rafa luck to the men's draw. If you'd have been there, no. you might have brought that extra thing. The, the little small changes in the universe when different things happen. It's just me there, and then Djokovic gets Rafa. See what happens. I think it's looking great for Ons Jabour. I think it's looking great yeah. for Stefano Sissipas. What's got by Sakri potentially? Yeah, but I still. I mean, really, Krajicka is the one. You should be rubbing her hands together. Loving it. Yeah. Can't believe that Iga's got all of those, though. Samson over Halep, Ostapenko, Pagula, Zidansic, uh, Alexandrova in there as well. Just a horrible section. You got Palizas Diaz in there. She's pretty good. Are those of you are saying Corne, Cunha, Kovanich is not bad either on the clay. I mean, when was the last time Krajikova played tennis? Have any idea? I don't. And does anyone know the exact reason of why she's not been playing? I'm assuming some kind of injury, but does anyone know about the injury? Um, does anyone know why she's not opted to play any warm-up events prior to Roland Garros? I mean, the last time we saw her was in Doha. I've just found it up here. Wow. She lost to Ostapenko in straight sets, and we've just not seen her since. That was in February. Now approaching June, she's turning up at Roland Garros to defend her title. I don't know what she's doing. Does she just pick and choose what matches she wants to play these days? 
this grand slam champ just does what she wants these days um i've no idea she just signed a deal with feeler apparently uh, that yeah i saw that has she been playing any doubles <laughs> <laughs> well that should be favorite for that that's for sure um well even I'm... now that comes in she's not played i think she how's that gonna watch. how's that gonna be on her body mate if she's not been playing um singles or doubles it's weird, isn't it? I don't. Well, she I don't... pulled the last double she played was also in February, and she actually pulled out of that match. So maybe that was her. Yeah, she retired. So that was potentially her last match. Was Doha doubles, uh, in which she lost. Interesting. I'm just trying to see if there's any new... elbow injury is what she's had. Just in case you're. Yeah, so right while you're doing that, I'm going to give a shout out to Mamadou uh, Tiam saying WTA so unpredictable. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a new winner. All of them are pretty much inconsistent. And I was saying this the other day on the podcast. I think it's either eager or a complete unknown. I don't see much in between, which is sad because I'm a big Ons Jabur fan, Maria Sarkari, Simona Halep, Radu Kanu, these big names. Don't don't see him winning. I see eager or just someone we're not really not expecting. Just mm. completely out of the blue, not expecting. And I feel Krachikova would fit into that bracket. I mean, she could retain her title. Her draw is is the perfect draw you can get. If she's coming back from injury. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know if she's going to... It's an em- elbow injury. Yeah, elbow Thank injury. You guys. Yep, that's correct. And that's what's had her sidelined since February. So elbow, tennis elbow, as it's famously known. Uh, yeah, not an easy injury to come back from at all. So I don't know if that's going to... I don't think she's going to go far. That's my personal opinion. I Fair think enough. that we, if we're going to see some sort of shock, who's, who's to say it won't be someone like a Samson over, someone like that? I mean, you know, like a Coco Goff. Well, yeah, maybe someone from that latter section will come through and just get on a run and then be unstoppable. Yeah. Or Raducanu wins it all. Who knows? I mean, well, I, was so hoping many... you'd, I was hoping you'd do that a little bit more <laughs> well, and go on a win. He just wants me to say it. Oh, no, I, I want you to say it because you've been giving it the big one to me all this time on the podcast. I said she's good Raducanu on the I said she's good this Grand on the Slam legend. Good on the fast. We're in a Grand Slam now, Ben. Where's the Raducanu hype? Good on the fast, Clay Courts. Oh, right. Yeah. It's a slow so, clay it's, courts. so just, to, just, to, just to reassure me, when we come around to Wimbledon, it's all the Raducanu. Uh, oh, she's back. Excitement. Is it all back? Oh, you? it's all back. So she's winning the whole she's thing. She's winning with, it. With, with she's winning it. Of course she is. How could she not? There's no one else in the draw. <laughs> <laughs> the question I want to ask everyone, how many games is he going to lose on her route to winning the title? One. No. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> how many points is he going to lose? How many baked goods will she dish I mean, that's, this is actually a really disrespectful thing to say uh, because obviously anything can happen in sport and looking at her draw, it, isn't, it is a tough one. So there's no certainty she does walk this. What do you reckon on Mugalutsa? Just bef- uh, oh, I've said it. Many, I've said it already. She yeah. goes out. I mean, she straight works, back but, to Zimbabwe taking what, photos. Canepi? Yeah, straight out. Wow. That's no mad. interest in her at all. I'm very disappointed with her. She lost that last event. Uh, in which she was a massive yeah, yeah. favourite to win it. I mean, she was the only mm. high seed in it um, against, no offence, but not many big names. Went out, f- uh, three sets, terrible. Trevisan. Trevisan, yeah. no, no good. Yeah, that was terrible, actually. Yeah, she she's beat... fallen off. Don't know who that was. I don't think she's got the heart for Daniel tennis Lina. at the moment. Daniel Lina, she beat, and then went out to Trevisan. Trevisan's not even been playing well either, so that's not... A- Good result at all. She obviously lost to Putin Saver as well, and she got bageled by Kalanina, as we remember in uh, yeah, where was that in Madrid or not? Yeah, okay, bit bit crazy, mate. Well, they're the draws. We've been waiting for them for so long, and everybody's leaving with a bit of a sour taste in their mouth. I feel after uh, after those two draws, the men's one even more so than the women's one. I think despite Eager's draw. People still will probably expect her to to push people aside and still get pretty deep in this competition and win it. But the men's one, it's up for grabs. I want to send you a graphic and then we can wrap this one up. I think it's quite fascinating. Um, it's a tweet now from Juan Ignacio, uh, sure. the legend on Twitter, covers a lot the of women's tennis. Me. And this sort of reinforces parts we've said about the prospect of some unknown entity winning from the women's side. So, as you can see here, Paris, the land of opportunities. 26 women have won only one slam and their titles come 
11 at Roland Garros, 6 at the US Open, 5 at the Australian Open, 4 at Wimbledon. So that just proves Wimbledon is the most difficult slam for an unknown entity to come through and win. Roland yep. Garros, on the other hand, is almost double the US Open. We do see it more times mm. than not on the clay courts of Roland Garros, some kind of magic happening. It's why it's my favourite slam. I do love it. I love the clay courts. I love Philip Chatrier. And ultimately, this reinforces the fact that we could see some complete wild shock. And the next one is 56 women have won a slam. Their first title came at, and there we go, 21 Roland Garros, 13 US Open, 13 Australian Open, 9 Wimbledon. Bit mad, isn't it? I mean could be anyone maybe we get like a homegrown talent just goes through and on a so storm in it's looking like is there's a Qualifying? possibility we get a first ever title and it's the first ever slam like what happened with Radu Kanu mm. um but this time at, the, at Roland Garros so well, just to we... fill you all with a bit of confidence guys that this could be a very exciting draw still and it's not eagers all wrapped and wrapped up well look at Kai Chikova. what was she before the start of the year when she actually won it she was like 70 in the world and then she came through and she won Roland Garros and then everybody suddenly knew who she was. Yep. I mean, obviously, we'd been talking about her a lot. I was a big fan of her beforehand, but I, I didn't expect her to win Roland Garros. No, no way. No, definitely not. She was on my uh, players to watch, though. I remember that. Yeah, on your TikTok yes. tennis. I remember Come that. Come on. I don't know if we're going to be doing the same <laughs> this year. Uh, yeah. But I think, I think we'll wrap that one up there. That is the French Open draw. For the women's, we also did another video for the men's. Well, Ben did because I was late. Uh, so go check that one out. Ultimately, what I want to say as my concluder remarks over the both of them is they're both super, uh, in, uh, not balanced at all. I'm, I am disappointed. That's why I feel like I just want to argue with Ben and just annoy him because I am frustrated with the draws. I wanted to see Nadal, Djokovic split up. I would love to have seen that as a final. We're not going to see that now. You've thrown Alcaraz on that side as well. On the women's, you've got Eager in such a tough section. You put Badoza on that side. You've got Krajcika over there with people who I think is very easy to beat, easier. I know Ons Jabum, Sakri there. It's just, it doesn't seem balanced. I mean, the, the, clearly the rankings, the system we're at the moment probably isn't the best way to do a fair balance draw, but it is what it is. That's the hand we've been dealt. We're going to be covering all of Roland Garros and trying to take you through all of the action as it happens. I still have hope that Rafa can do something special, uh, even if he's got one foot and no ribs. <laughs> it's possible. Anything's possible when Rafa's involved. And if people are worried about eager... I'd, I'd say don't be worried. It doesn't matter who you put in front of her. If she plays her tennis, no one beats her. Yeah. Anyway, I think a lot of people are reinforcing what we're saying. John De La Rose saying draws are both very imbalanced. We've got Sam saying terrible draw. Yikes. Uh, 707 Lady T. Yeah, the draw's lopsided. And um, yeah, let's wrap it up there. Thanks for watching, guys. We will be bringing you another video later tonight. It's going to be a qualifiers to watch video. One of the ones we love so much. There's going to be arguments. There's going to be popcorn moments. It's going to be exciting. Ben can't pick Scat off because he's out. Um, <laughs> so we'll have to re-pick him. But we will be giving free from the men, free from the women. And then we're going to be following them the whole week uh, or two weeks. Never know if they ever get to the Ooh. second week. Probably Ben's right. won't, but mine might. No. Uh, we'll be following them and speaking about them on the Jinxed podcast as well. So sit, join us later. It's one of our favourite podcasts of the whole year, Qualifiers to Watch. See you in a bit. Anything left to say, Ben? Nah, just get out of here. I've got to get my picks ready. <laughs> All right. Like and subscribe. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>